Hello fellow YouTubers, uh, this is Blu-ray Maniac coming at you on the Horoscope channel. Uh, today is Friday, so uh, I will be doing my uh, movie pick for uh, the theme that we did this week, which is Vampires. And uh, the movie that I picked was the movie Let Me In. This is the Americanized... Uh, remake of the movie Let the Right One In. Um, both films are relatively recent, uh, relatively new to the genre. Um, let me see here. Um, I believe this, yeah, 2010. Yeah, copyright 2010 Overture Films. So, uh, this movie, uh, is just over two years old, as of right now, and, um, it's an excellent film, uh, it stars, uh, Cody Schmidt McPhee, um, the girl from Kick-Ass, uh, her name is Chloe Grace Moritz, and also, uh, Elias Cotius is in it, and, um, Richard, yeah, Richard Jenkins, uh, Richard Jenkins does an excellent job as the, um, well, we'll just call him the father for the sake of this review, because I don't want to give away too much for those who haven't seen either one of the films, be it this one or the original. I'm not going to say too much, but I will tell you that uh, this film is a, um, it's a horror film, you know, that deals with uh, vampires and stuff like that but it's also a um, at its core it's really a uh, love story um, this girl um, you know she's uh, there's something about her that's that's different when you first start watching the movie you don't quite know what it is but uh, she uh, travels and moves from place to place with this man who uh, as far as we're aware is her father and um, they just keep moving from place to place and um, every time they move somewhere people eventually uh, after they move to wherever it is they move to people start uh, getting killed people start disappearing and we don't know exactly why well the thing is that um she's actually a vampire and of course uh, like all vampires you know she has to survive off of human blood so um this man played by richard jenkins goes out and he kills people and he um drains them of their blood and, uh, you know, he, then he brings the blood back to her because she's basically, um, I think she's been a vampire for, um, 300 or 400 years, something like that. And so she never ages, uh, you know, she doesn't, uh, get older. She never looks any different. And basically she's, she's like a, like a 12 or 13 year old. Um, that's stuck in this, this permanent, uh, state of being a child. You know, she's, she's very much like a child, but she also has the intelligence and the experience of somebody who, say, has been around for hundreds of years. Uh, and, um, she, the sad thing about the movie is the fact that, you know, okay, she's a vampire, but she doesn't like the fact that she's a vampire and there's a few deleted scenes uh, depending on what edition of the film you you pick up dvd blu-ray whatever that there's different versions there's even a canadian version with different artwork than this but um there are some deleted scenes and um in one of the scenes it shows where she was originally turned into a vampire and bitten and she was forced into it you know she, she did not want to be bitten 
Uh, so, you know, she was basically cursed, and um, truth be told, she does not like being a vampire. She doesn't like that she has to kill people and drink their blood and all that. So, but now she has to, or else she'll die. And, um, you know, Richard Jenkins is, um, like I said, he's, you know, the person that goes out for her, um, and finds a victim and kills them, drains their blood and brings it back to her. And, um, basically he's been doing this for a very long time and he's starting to get rusty. He's starting to get tired. Um, he's getting to where he kind of wants to get caught cause he's tired of doing it. So she reaches a point where she has to start looking for somebody else um, that will help her uh, because her current helper you know is getting worn out with it and he's tired of killing people all the time and you know and so enters Cody Smith McPhee uh, from the road and um, basically he falls in love with her and she falls in love with him and that's basically the gist of the story and I'm not going to tell you how it ends uh, anything like that uh, because I've already given away probably too much um, but just know that it's a it's a masterpiece um, I love the original as well but I chose to review this one because I want I own both films but I want to give somebody else the luxury of reviewing the first one, the original, because that's the original is what inspired this one. But um, the names of the characters are different, uh, depending on if you watch the original or the remake. But for the remake, um, I give it a solid nine out of ten. Um, it's it's actually quite a sad movie. There were a few scenes that I got kind of emotional in because. If I was in her position, I can understand, you know, she she doesn't want to be a vampire and she's very, very, very lonely because imagine being 12 years old, 12 or 13, but you don't get any older and imagine being like that for like hundreds of years and having to see all these people around you die as the time progresses, you know, and so the question is, um, like I said, I'm not going to give away the ending, but the question is, you know, as the film progresses, she's been doing this for hundreds of years, and the question is, is she finally tired of being uh, alone because the, the helper that she always picks, she doesn't turn the helper into a vampire, so that person can still go out during the day, but the question is, does she get tired of always being lonely? And if so, has she finally reached a point where she wants to spend the rest of eternity, basically, um, with somebody that's around her own age? Um, and if that is the case, is she willing to turn Cody Smith McPhee into a vampire or not? And, and furthermore, um, is he willing to do that? Does he love her enough that he wants her to turn him or not? Um, those are all questions that will swim around in your head. And um, this movie takes place in uh, New Mexico, I believe. And um, this movie is beautifully scored. Um, there's a scene where, you know how vampires have to be allowed into your house otherwise they can't enter well there's a scene in this film when she's standing at the doorway to to um his name is owen in the movie cody smith and feast character's name owen so i'll call him owen but she's standing at owen's door and she, you know she uh he tells her uh something or other uh, and he just tells her, you know, I don't have to invite you in, you know, just come in. And, um, 
at this point he kind of knows that she's a vampire so she just walks in and immediately she starts to um, bleed very profusely from her forehead and all over the place and and then he he doesn't want her to he loves her too he doesn't want her to die so all of a sudden he screams out okay okay you can come in you can come in and she he said what what would have happened if I had not said you could come in and she said I don't know but this is what happens when I come in uninvited and and um, and he said well then why did why did you come in and she said because I knew you wouldn't let me in other words you wouldn't let me bleed or die so it's a very touching um, unique um, kind of love story intertwined with uh, a vampire tale and I'll tell you one thing it kicks the shit out of the Twilight movies that's for sure so uh, with that being said this is one of my longer reviews I'm sorry for that, but this is a movie that, that I really enjoy, and I had a lot to say about it, but I hope you enjoyed it, uh, my review of this, and I hope that if you haven't seen either one of the films, be it original or remake, I hope you take the time to go and watch them, and um, that'll do it for this video, and until next time, uh, you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Thanks.